Hey, how's it going, everyone? Got a quick video for you guys. Just kind of like a little update. Not really an update, but like maybe uh, a new project type thing. Uh, or kind of like, I don't know. Just just watch the video. Um, I'm going to show you one knife, and then I'm going to show you a uh, kydex sheath I'm making. And then I'm going to, uh, well, I'll tell you now. I'm going to, in the next uh, probably like three videos, I'm going to be doing a shout out slash contest entries into uh, three or four giveaways, I think. Um, you know, but it's mainly, uh, mainly to get the shout outs out, you know, and uh, get people to uh, find new channels and, you know, make the knife community and, you know, the tactical community a bit uh, more connected. But yeah, first off, I want to re show you this knife. The kitchen knife, because uh, I, I realized the lighting yesterday was horrible. So uh, here we go. I didn't really do anything to the finish. I just regrounded, uh, reprofiled it, and re put the t uh, and uh, put a new tip on, pretty much. And uh, it was chipped right here, and it had no edge. It was like completely flat. Reprofiled the handle. And, and uh reshaped it, you know. And uh this wood was really dry and like like a hay color, really ugly. But it turns out to be a pretty nice wood color and um, the new shape is a bit smaller and it's a bit more ergonomic in the hand. You can put two or even three fingers up here. And you can go all the way back here. Really comfortable knife now and uh sharp and ready to use and uh, I rounded off the edges but very uh, like barely anything you can kind of tell they're rounded off they're not really rounded it's still square it's just that the very edges are rounded and a kydex sheet is actually not a knife kydex um, sheet it's actually going to be for a zip up uh, and I want to make this uh, for two reasons. I wanted a sheet or a case for my Zippo. And I wanted to practice uh, w working with uh, Kydex uh, for the knives. And I think I did a pretty good job. Still need to, I still need to finish it, of course. But, um... And it works perfectly fine. No rattling, no nothing, and it's a little hard to get out right now, but that's because uh, there's no real place to put your fingers. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this off, um, put a little hole there so you can kind of carry it on, around your neck, and then I'm going to put like a little slot in the back so I can slide it out like that, because right now it's kind of hard to get out unless... Like really pinch it hard and pull out. And uh yeah, come up pretty good. You can see the texture in there. Clips in nice. I uh, I made one before but it turned out bad, so I redid it. Um I actually remolded that Kydex three times and it just kinda turned into garbage. So I had to get new Kydex and I got this right the first time. And I'm pretty glad how it came out. Pretty happy about it. The only kind of bad part is the back, maybe. You can see it's kind of deformed, a little bit deformed, just a bit near the bottom. But I think that's going to be all right. I don't think that's going to be a problem. Hopefully, I'm not going to put rivets in here. I'm just going to put a hole here, maybe a rivet. I'm not sure, but um. Uh, it doesn't really need rivets, so it already has a really good retention, and uh, I don't want to make it big and bulky, so yeah, I'm just going to do that. And the rivets, um, I won't get a lot of practice out of it, but uh, once I cut this off, I'll drill a hole, and I'll practice uh, setting the rivets, and um, what's left over. But yeah guys, um, I'll see you guys soon in the next video. Uh, take care and uh, don't cut yourself, all that stuff. And yump, humble up.